And honestly, I really like the background here. It looks really spiffy. But you can't jump off there? No. It's an invisible wall? Yeah. I hate invisible walls, Dude, it's man. a f***ing save room. It I could have been a real wall and it would make no difference. So so put a real wall there. And so it doesn't look But stupid. then it ruins the view. You know why I still haven't played Other M? There's a, and I know you've played it. But there's a room where... And I don't know the names of the areas or anything. So I'm going to just have to describe it. But the guy goes into the room. He, there's a video on YouTube. And he goes into this room and he's got the space jump. And he walks through a door, and above him is another door, and then across from the door on the top is a pickup of some kind of missile or anything. Or and you're supposed I know, to. I know exactly what you're talking about. So you do. So you're supposed to go up through the top door and jump across. So he, but he tries to space jump from the bottom and just hits an invisible wall, like right in front of the pickup, and just sits there. And <laughs> oh it gets worse. Oh. It's actually not just that room. The space jump has a height cap on it, so you literally cannot space jump from a certain height above where you started. Jesus. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, I can see why you would do that. Like, they wouldn't want you to gain height with it. And this is a really cool detail coming up. So, we're looking for a key item. It's not here, though. Where is it? Why, I don't know, Well, Well, see, since it's a speed booster, they put it in his feet. <laughs> okay. I mean, come on, can't you get behind that? But you can't use the speed booster underwater anyway. You've been underwater for like 30 minutes now. I thought you said there was like one area where you're underwater. That's coming up. <laughs> but you've been underwater this whole time. I hate invisible walls, is my point. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> I hated them way back in Super Mario 64. Uh, let's see. There's something. Okay, I dodged him. Awesome. I didn't even see what you dodged. That's because I dodged him. Okay. But please tell me that this bomb jumping is not required. It is not required, no. There's just some random missile up here. And we want a bunch of missiles. I, yeah, probably. Yeah, that guy. That's one weakness of my the route that I use in Super Metroid is I always ever have, I only ever have five Super Missiles when I get to Fantoon, and you kind of need more than five. I can never get that fight done quickly. Okay, and this part is also optional. Wait, no, this is wrong. This is the wrong room, I think. No, yeah, that was the save room with the invisible wall. There was nothing over there. Yeah. What they should have done is let you just jump off the side and die, because there's a save point right there anyway. <laughs> Like, you should just jump off, and then it should just be like, and she was never heard from again. Okay, so... Uh, he, he's reaching for the save state button. Okay. That would save some time. Oh, missed it. Are you serious? What, do you have to shine spark through that room? Uh, come on. If I had a save state, I would just memorize the time. But you could get past these things. <laughs> like, I'm doing this for you, Brick Road. You should be thankful. I am. I'm very thankful. <laughs> that was perfect. Thumbs up! Way up! <laughs> like, I mean, please, which... please tell me this part isn't required. It is not required. I just wanted to detank early. <laughs> You're gonna die if you get hit again. <laughs> yes, that's funny. Did you get the CP booster before? Like, or after I can't this? even. F I can't even f do this part now. See, this is all thanks to you. If I just use a safe set here... No, 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 don't blame me. Blame the guy who designed the game. To require save state. Man, I'm not going to blame him for trying to sequence break. That's just mean. <laughs> That's true. Sequence breaking is a moral failure on the player's part. I agree. <laughs> that seems to be what most game designers think these days. Didn't the guy... Didn't um, Retro, when they went back and re-released Metroid Prime, didn't they, like... They actually went in and blocked you from doing the sequence break breaks that players had discovered. Like, there were, Yeah, that is exactly what they did. The earliest versions of Prime, I forget exactly what you were able to do. Like, you were able to get the space jump much earlier or something like that. They, they broke all of it. That really made me mad. Like, I, I, was, <laughs> I was, like, sh shaking my fist upset. You were so upset that you forgot exactly what the sequence break was. Yeah, I never did any secret breaking in Prime. I did finish the game once without the heat visor. That's about the extent of my ability. This is really thrilling watching you do this. Just refilling your energy. I'm sure you've never done this in a game before. I'm sure you've never put that on YouTube. <laughs> Absolutely not.
<laughs> awesome. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I have now. I'm sure I have. Because I don't cut anything out ever. Yeah, well, this time we're actually going to use save states, so f*** you. <laughs> I was, I told you that I had recorded some uh, Minecraft with uh, Tier McDole, and that's one of the things he's like, we're like, oh, we need diamonds, and oh, you Damn. messed it up again, good job. But we didn't have any caves or anything, so we're like, well, we can go down and branch mine and just cut it out, and like, we don't cut anything out. <laughs> there we go. So people will watch us branch mine, and they won't like it. They probably won't like it, to be honest. Yeah, you're going to lose all your subscribers. No, they're not mine, they're his. <laughs> oh, that's even better. I'm not putting it on my channel. <laughs> you can not even feel guilty about it. No, like him. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, down here is a super block. So we go in here and we get more supers. How does that sound? Okay. If you feel like you need more super missiles, I'm okay with that. Is that all that's up in this area? Why you had to do that little shine no. spark? And there's also an E tank. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, I can't tell when your secret's breaking and when you're not. So I'm just assuming that most when you go into a new area and have a hard time, I'm just assuming that oh yeah, this ROM hack sucks. <laughs> Maybe that's unfair. It is unfair, but also, if you've played other ROM hacks, it's also kind of accurate for them. So I can't blame you. I yeah, really you, can't. you really can't, because... Goddamn Kaizo. Kaizo Mario is fun. Have you ever played it? I have not played it. Okay. The thing about Kaizo Mario is, yeah, it's like unfair, and it's like horrible, and it's hilarious, but it's designed that way. And the thing is, is like no individual action you have to take in Kaizo is totally unreasonable. Similar to I Want to Be the Guy. Have you played that? I have not, but I know enough about that oh, one, too. Yeah, there you go. Like, no no individual thing is really outlandish. But the problem is people played those games, and they started making their own ROM tags where, like, everything is outlandish. There's a very fine line between unfair but hilarious and just unfair. <laughs> oh, I dropped my Pepsi cap. I'll be right back. I had to go down under the desk for a minute. Uh, okay. Here we go. So there's an I Want to Be the Guy fan game that's called I Want to Be the Fan Game. Uh, I sounds really, really not good already. <laughs> it, you, you can see the distinction because you watch, it, you watch I Want to Be the Guy and you see, like, yeah, the, oh, the plane comes by and it's hilarious. But then, like, I Want to Be the Fan Game literally has totally unreasonable stuff. Like, you have to dodge a boss, like, 800 times before you can hit him and... But see, stuff like that is just, why would you even play it? Like, that kind of defeats the purpose of the word playing, in my opinion. I think that those kind of games are not designed to be played. They're designed s so people on YouTube can make amusing videos. <laughs> I think that's the point. That's why, that's why you see, like, so many people sending Proton John their Super Mario World. That's also proof that people on YouTube are stupid. That, well, I can't argue with that. I've been here for several years, and I have not increased my intelligence at all. I forgot how to do long division. I'm surprised you ever knew. I did at one point. Anyways, we are going to get Spazer right now. That seems like something you should have gotten a long time ago. It's like, I understand why they would want to make you play part of the game, like a large part of the game with just your standard gun, but it's not very fun. Running around with just your little pea shooter. Let's see. We go this way, and then I think we just fall down onto it. Oh, so yeah. that, that Chozo statue is actually immaterial. Unlike all the other Chozo statues, which have been solid, and I notice you're still underwater. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna keep harping on this underwater thing for quite some time. Because you shouldn't have to go through long underwater sections without the gravity suit. There should just be enough to. Well, that wasn't a slope. That was a staircase. 
Like, yeah, it's 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 friendly design that he made as so you just walk up it, but it, visually it looks bad. <laughs> I'm getting mad at Metroid. <laughs> I'm not even playing it. This is a good one, Mac. I don't understand how you're getting mad at. You're not even playing it. No, I'm not. Loser. Jeez, <laughs> I'm getting mad at you getting mad at it. That's well, how. That's how this is going right now. It's a madhouse. <laughs> so again, you're just gonna have to point out when you're sequence breaking and when you're not, because I, I can't tell. Uh, I haven't been sequence breaking for a while. Okay, I've just been getting some items. Gotcha. And this is not a sequence break either. This is where you're supposed to go. It seems like he uses the, just the uh, atmospheric sound background music a lot instead of the actual music. But it's just because we keep going to the same place. Like, it's kind of a hub. Oh, like, there's I see. a few areas that. If you put them together in a circle, kind of a hub for the rest of the game. Open up your map real quick. I just want to. You can't tell where they are on the map. Yeah. Unless I... you know what the rooms already are. Uh, yeah, I can't tell what anything is on this map. Okay, I'm done looking at that mess. Yeah, that's why the mini map is gone. Because that's... there's no point to looking at it. That looks like something your cat would be batting around. And I think... Like, yeah, that, that looks friendly. Like I think this is a missile. Yeah. It's decent design to have a slope there because it'd be annoying to bomb all the way up, but why not make it look like a slope? Because you f limited by the tile set. I thought you said he drew these tiles. No, these are all tiles from in-game. The only thing he's ever done is recolor some of them. Oh, well, you know what? I could make it look like a slope. I, I could do that. I can't draw a stick figure. I really can't. I lost the uh, stick figure competition that we had in school. Damn. Went through some therapy. I guess the XKCD guy won it, huh? <laughs> over in the Brick Road School of how to not draw stick figures. I love XKCD. I know I'm not supposed to, and most people don't like it, and whatever, but I love it. There's only one place on the internet you can go for extremely terrible math jokes, and that's it. This is no longer a Let's Play, this is now a webcomics review. Okay, why don't you start? Why are there 900 save points in this room? Because only that one works. What?! The rest are just atmosphere, I'm so you sorry. Just, you just have fakes, but the, the real one looked exactly like the fake ones. Why not, like, make the glass look... I know there's broken glass tiles in this game. I know that. That's actually a decent idea. <laughs> I wish he thought of that. So, yeah, because if you make them look broken, then the player knows, oh, okay, those save points are broken. Okay, so we're coming up on the bullshit part. Ooh! <laughs> Gold to ease a fight. So anyways, you see this platform, this platform I'm standing on? No, because it looks like background scenery. It looks like a window Yeah, he thing. can break these. Oh. He can break this one too. But oh. No, but not this one. So you can't tell which ones break because they're like not cracked or anything. It's just you have to know beforehand which ones break. Oh, bust yeah. out the save So seat. anyways, this AI exploit. Both Teresas have this thing where if you're up close to them, they jump back. And... They can't do anything if you're, like, crouching in their foot. <laughs> That's awesome. That must be why there's no elevation like that in the Norfair fight. And not even the Super Missile Foe can do anything. That's hilarious. And I like how you're using the grapple to grab the pickups rather than leave your safe spot. No, I have no problem with exploits like this. I'm fine with this. So yeah, if you don't know that, then this can be a really tough fight. Now, what I wouldn't be fine with is, like, if the designer saw that and said, Oh, I have to fix that! Like, that seems like something that, you know, a smart player figures out a good strategy, and that he deserves to win the fight. But at that point, the designer does not need to come back and, quote-unquote, fix the fight so the strategy no longer works. You know what I mean? 